Hello and welcome everyone in another episode of Let's Try. We are playing the Slow Minister. Uh, today I want to go over the new things that were added into the game in the latest uh, patch for the Academy, the part one. So I will go over some staffs that I found or I guess the weapons that I found. And I haven't see seen them yet, so we will go over it together. And but before that, I'm gonna go over the few like the, the new enemies that were added to the game and like what they do. So first, uh, let's go from the left to the right, I guess. So first, we have the uh, how should we call this? Like a mage? Yeah, let's... No, the mages are the skeletons, I guess. So let's call these scholars, I guess, or something. I don't know. The the the, the guy with the wand, basically. So Or the skelly, skelly mages. Let's call them skelly mages or something. I don't know. So, as you may know, they shoot like three projectiles. Uh, they are like spaced evenly and they are like very small projectiles. And the elite version of... This enemy uh, shoots five and they are kind of faster and their range is kind of like almost melee based so they need to come really close and then start casting. So those enemies are not as scary I think. So yeah, I, I, oh, I know, I think they are called uh, academy students or something like that, the students, yeah. The next one, <clears throat> we have the, the imps basically. Uh, I guess they have different name, but they are imps, and yeah, they just well jump and like into the in your range and do like a swipe, and it deals damage. And I think they also consumes a mana a bit. I'm not sure about that. Depends. I guess if you don't have enough regen or mana base, yeah, you can see that. But yeah, that's what they do. They are not as scary, but with the mods. Uh, not the mods, the Cataclysm? Yeah, the Cataclysm for the movement speed for the enemies, they are kind of scary. At, the, at that time, they are kind of scary, alright? So, careful about that. Then we have the Broom Witches. So, those, uh, they cast like a big AoE and it deals like damage over time, I guess. But the thing about them is that it silences you. So, when you open like the breaches basically, and they immediately cast it, you, you will be silenced basically. So you need to either pre-cast or quickly jump out of it somehow, or get out. So they're kind of annoying, but they're not as, as scary uh, as the enemy. The next one we have like, what is it, like burning imps or something? I haven't seen those yet, so we will go over them once I found them. But yeah, I, I, I don't know what I do. Mm, yeah. <laughs> like burning imps kind of look like, or like mana imps or something, like floating under their head, so... Or like lava, I'm not sure what they do. Oh, I know what they do, yeah, 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 oh, I'm stupid, never mind. Yeah, they cast the, like the projectile, yeah, they cast like this projectile which follows, it's like a homing missiles basically, and they shoot only one, and if it's the elite monster, uh, it's much faster I believe and about the witch uh, the broom witch uh, if the elite the elite has like I think it does the area of the silence and damage is basically bigger and it moves faster to like to catch up with you but yeah that's it that's it but the one <laughs> that I hate the most so far uh, at least on my build I guess it depends on the build are those book guys because they have the or the book teacher or whatever they cast like a dome shield around themselves like in a certain area and the projectiles can't go through basically so all the projectiles built you need to be inside and it's kind of small so that's very 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 annoying if the enemies are inside of that so yeah i really don't like those they're like they're not bad like they're good design but Super annoying, super annoying for projectile builds. And uh, also, if you get to, like close, they smash you with a book and it kind of hits hard. So be careful about those guys. And the elite version, I don't know, it's 
I guess the same, you could say. So, not too bad, not too bad, right? So yeah, that covers the enemies that were added to the game, so be careful about those. And be careful about the mods as well, the Cataclysm, when they get buffed. Okay, so now we are back in the town. Now, uh, as you can see, I played a bit and I got some stuff, like maybe five or six of them that I unlocked. But I got my current stuff to level 100, as you can see here, and I already unlocked the uh, primary version, but I haven't equipped it yet, I haven't even seen this yet. So let's go over this first. And there we go over the new ones. Alright. You have Ellie Pen. Ellie Pen is equal to your armor pen. Skills cannot be imbued. What does that mean? Skills cannot be immune. So you get raw damage, max raw damage, but you will get also max raw damage. And you have Ellie Pen, and Ellie Pen is equal to your armor pen. So if you have some armor pen, it will be the same, that's okay. But what is this malediction? Skills cannot be immune. What does that mean? Like... Uh, like, I'm not sure. Like now... Uh, average... 8.656, right? 8.656... And what? Uh... 8... Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... It goes down because of the thingy. Oh man, I need to look this up afterwards to see like what it does. So yeah, uh, so first let's go buy our book. As you can see I farmed the uh, pure slurm. So let's buy this. I haven't seen this yet. I think I saw it only when it was teased a bit, but I forgot. So let's see here. So uh, we get El Elder Slurm find, which is Alright, not, nothing too bad if you want to farm it, but you will get enough. Like, I have 50,000 almost, so... Not enemy... Oh, non elite enemies can drop it. Alright, that's... That's good, that's good. Uh, skills in your primary and secondary sword deals additional damage. Additional equal to your current Elder Slum. Whoa! Okay, so if I have max... That's kind of insane, to be honest. And picking Elder Slum triggers... Uh, ultimate and momentum granting you multiplier applied to your ultimatum. Oh, so it works also with ultimatums. That's really cool. That's really cool. So let's buy this one for our collection here. So that's this one. So uh, yeah, let's go from the start. So we got those. Uh, we bu we bought this one right, but uh, not here. Let's go over those ones that I haven't seen yet. So. Oh, what is this? Mana Harvest. Mana Harvesting stuff. Uh, mana Leech, Mana Leech Multiplayer. You can leech mana with Harvest. Size of the Mana Harvest is increased. And what is the Mana Harvest skill? You create AoE. It deals damage. It deals Reaper damage. And you also gain good crop, granting you raw damage equal to Mana Leeched, including the access for the next 10 seconds. Kill and many skill probably create mana sparks dealing amount of mana to elemental damage. So those early damage depending on your mana leech during the time that you like leech the mana. Hmm. I can see some builds working with that maybe. Could be cool, could be cool. We'll see how that works when I get to that. Next one is this one. Stuff of concentrated inner strength, so inner fire damage. Okay, inner fire builds. Hello, that's good. You have uh, additional inner fire damage, and if uh, inner fire damage is equal to your reaper damage, okay, uh, like the so central percentage, and you have uh, increased duration, and increased duration is equal to your maximum charge. So I have five, so it increased by five. Alright, and fast expansion. You trigger five inner fires. Fast expansion can only be cast if no inner fires are currently rotating around you. And then concentration. For the next seven seconds, inner fires rotate faster, they will increase damage and increase damage to other enemies. Wow, that's actually really cool. And it has like low cooldown. That's really good. This will be really good for the 
uh, inner fire builds. I will test it out probably when I get this weapon on my other build for the knight. Because knight is work in progress. Uh, let's see here. So stuff of the untouchable one. So evasion based. Okay. Evasion is equal to your raw damage. Alright. And you have chance to evade successfully. Okay, there's also some defense and untouchable. You become invisible for 5 seconds or until you do damage. And while invisible, you can recast untouchable once to dash forward dealing damage and stunning them. Stunning? Ooh! Without removing invisibility. Damage is equal to the evasion, okay? Uh, it's locked until you evade an attack. Ooh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. It's like defensive damage cell stuff. Huh. Could be good on some builds with evasion stacking, I guess. Uh, let's go here. What is Alpha and Omega. So you have draw damage multiplier, elemental damage multiplier, alright. And 50% of Reaper damage is added to elemental damage of the skill damage. What? And you have two black holes around you, dealing skill damage and ally damage to the enemies. And closer you are to 50% mana, the stronger they get. They deal up to 100% increased damage and get 1% uh, larger and faster. If you remain around 50% for 2 seconds, you trigger alpha, increasing the number of progress to 4. Whoa, wait a minute, let's see this. Oh, wow, wow, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, all right, this is interesting. You can like trigger it and then go. Wow. Wait, how does this work? Is it... Like horse are many? Okay, they disappear after a certain duration. All right. That's pretty cool. I can see builds working like this. Stats on it are kind of okay, I feel like. Uh, nothing new here. So how many stats we get? Well, let's count. 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, right? Uh, no. 4. So let's go 5 here. Oh, that's the one from the Temple Keeper. Temple Keeper. Uh, we tested this one out already. But yeah, it's like minion, totems, and uh, the bug that it had, uh, it was fixed. So that's really good. Nice to see the developers working very quickly. So this is like, what, 5? Uh, this is the new one from the Sloan Temple. And then we have this one, Stuff of Deadly Accuracy. So you have Armor Pen, Armor Pen Multiplier, and Expose Armor. Your next skill deals increased damage and applies Armor broken to enemies hit increase damage is equal to your armor pen. Huh. Armor pen stuff or weapon. Huh, this that could be good for some builds. I'm not sure if it's good on the mage. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Giant Slayer, so Giant Slayer against elites. Yep, okay, so this is against elites mostly. So damage to elites, elites damage reduction. Ooh, it has defense in it. Alright. And whenever you deal damage to the elite within with a skill in your primary or secondary slot, the same damage is also dealt to random enemy nearby. Okay. And whenever you deal damage, you also apply enfeeble to the enemies. Enfeeble increase incoming damage by a certain percentage and can stack to 10 times. So this is really good for boss fights. So I might level this up just for the boss fights in the future. To to at least a certain degree, right? So that's really good. Okay, okay. And last page, nothing here. So how many did we get here? Uh, so we got how many? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight staffs. So we need to look for eleven more, and then one will be added later. To complete the 20 because it's tied to the end game content that is not yet released. It will be with the next part of the Academy update. So yeah, of course there are crime of or wait. Wait. Are they part of the primary staffs as well or that's it? 
I'm not sure now, but yeah, we 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 will see, we will see. So I'm gonna level up maybe the elite one, and then I'm kind of interested in the black hole one, and there was one more here. Yeah, inner fire one. Like those could be cool. So I'm gonna play around, but first I guess I'm gonna level this stuff, and after I search what it does and see how things will go. So yeah. That's it for today I guys, uh, I will make another video later when I get some stuff, unlock a few more staffs and such, or level up some things, or maybe switch to my different uh, builds or something like that, or make a new build guys, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.